Whenever I talk about besieged people, I remember my friend who are besieged. Sometimes I cry, but tears will not help them. Uh, I'm uh, Mohammed Katoub. I'm a dentist from uh, Douma. It's a city in Syria, in Damascus countryside, just 10 kilometers away from the capital, Damascus. Uh, and I'm uh, trying to highlight and address the main issues that humanitarian workers are facing, like the uh, bombardment and attacks on health facilities and the humanitarian access to besieged areas. I used to live in a besieged area for uh, two years until I left on May 2014, uh, and my area is still besieged in now. When I went out, I believe that I can be I can be the voice of those besieged people. The siege was used since uh, 2012 as a weapon of war, and it seems like as as no one is trying to 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 change the situation, uh, the number of besieged people, the besieged people, besieged areas is increasing. Uh, the main besieged areas is the Damascus countryside. Uh, also in uh, Homs, uh, in the middle of Syria, uh, Homs, uh, there is a neighborhood of, of Homs, the city, which is Al-Wa'ar, and there is other two uh, areas in Homs countryside are besieged. There is also and uh, now Aleppo. And 70% are besieged by the state, by the government itself. The siege watch, uh, the, the main goal is to, uh, to, 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 to make the situation in besieged areas very clear. It's e too easy to use it. It's too easy to find information that you need if you are a searcher, if you are an NGO want to work in Syria, if you are a parliament want to advocate for something in your country. Whenever I talked about the siege, I believe the international community can do more and more, but there is no willingness, there is no appetite to do anything either for the siege or the attacks on civilians and uh, health facilities. Uh, a new UN Security Council resolution uh, with a monitoring mechanism uh, where the willingness of the states uh, be very clear that they have plan B if the, if the regime did not respond to the requests of humanitarian access and for the protection of civilians will improve the situation and will prevent the violators, either the, the regime or its allies, for more violation of human rights and for more using of the siege and the attacks uh, on health facilities as a weapon of war.